Hey there everyone, I've got a ladybug design to share with you today. This video is brought to you by facepainforumshop.com and I, of course, am your artist rep, Lily Santoya. So we'll start off with Diamond Effects Red and a round number three brush. We'll create a circle here. There we go. And then turn our brush to the side and just wipe it down and that really fills up a big space pretty quickly. All right, great. Now I have a half inch wash brush. Uh, this is the magic wand line. And I'm creating a tiny, tiny rose here. Now the one stroke I have it actually doesn't have a name. I believe I had it come out of a, a big palette. So the colors um, it's like a magenta, a lavender color, and a white color. So it creates a really beautiful flower. Now I'll move on to my round number three. And uh, I actually used a one stroke from a fusion palette and just dipped it in a green one stroke. It had a darker green and a lighter green. So I just am um, creating leaves here, some vines, and uh, just creating some filigree. Time for the round number three and Fusion Strong Black to create the head of the ladybug. Split down the center. All right, and this part is kind of open because ladybugs do have wings. And then we'll outline the outside of the ladybug. And I'm creating hearts. Uh, instead of the ladybug spots. Ladybugs have six legs, so we'll do three on one side, three on the other. This is DFX Pastel Blue from a palette that we have at facepaintformshop.com. I thought this would be really cute up against the black color. And we'll go ahead and outline some of that greenery. Time for our Fusion Paraffin White to add some white spots to assist as raindrops here on the rose and the leaves. And then also the ladybug. I decided to go ahead and just brighten the eyes using the white. Alright, very cute. And we'll go ahead and add a few starbursts here. And I decided that even though ladybugs don't have antenna, I just thought it looked so much cuter with it. So I went ahead and added my own here. This is DFX Pastel Pink out of a um, DFX palette that we have available. I wanted to go ahead and highlight the red parts of the ladybug using the pink. All right, that completes our design. I hope you love this design. Um, be sure to be creative with your ladybugs. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one.